The first one we introduced was Sharpo Mira. Now Mira has a very high resistance in the foliage and also in the tubers, has strong virus resistance like most of the Sharpo varieties. And this is a variety which is a late variety, meaning it's a main crop. So if you plant it during March, April time, you'll be able to harvest it any time from about August onwards. You'll find that it doesn't die down naturally, that it has to be left in the soil. You can leave it as long as you want. Uh, the frost will get it in the end, and then you can dig up your tubers. But you can start harvest in August, and you'll find that uh, you've got some fully formed in August. If you leave them a bit later, you'll have a heavier crop, uh, a greater yield than if you harvest them uh, early on. So that's um, Mira. Now, Axona is another one. It's rather similar. It's red-skinned, and again, it has the attributes of the Sharper varieties, meaning um, light resistance and virus resistance. Axona is preferred by some people for its taste. It has a good um, pronounced potato taste and uh, we recommend it along with Mira. Some people prefer one, some people prefer another, but they have both the same season. They are both main crop varieties. So we have other sharper varieties that have very different characteristics. For example, we have Sharpo Una. Now, Una is a pink-skinned variety. It's an early variety. It's early in that it can be harvested in June, and that will produce a smallish crop of well-formed small potatoes for eating as a new potato. But if you leave Sharpo Una for a longer period of time, then you can harvest it later in the season, in August or September, and you'll find that it produces a very heavy crop at that time of much larger tubers. One characteristic of Una, which is appreciated by some people, is that it is more waxy and suitable for salad uses rather than for baking or for roasting. So it's uh, got a lower dry matter, meaning that it is a firm potato on cooking. It's good for sauté, it's good for uh, cook cooking and eating cold, as in a salad. We have another variety we call Blue Danube. Now Blue Danube is a bit different. It has a very bright blue-purple skin and it has very beautiful flowers. If you're into growing vegetables among your flowers in the flower garden, then Blue Danube is a very good choice. It has uh, slightly less blight resistance, but nonetheless, it can be grown uh, even in a blight season like this last season, and it produces a very good crop nonetheless. So it's becoming very popular as a very tasty potato variety and is a firm favourite with many of our customers. We have yet another one called Keefley. Now Keefley is a salad potato. It's one which has a very fine taste and it works well uh, eaten cold in a salad or else eaten as a new potato. Uh, so it has a, a good new potato flavour throughout the summer season and we recommend it for those that like to put in a row, start digging it in end of June or in July and then continuing to harvest. Uh, every time you need potatoes just go out and dig another plant. Uh, it'll go through until September giving you a heavier crop with larger potatoes still with a very good flavour.